Hi, I'm Dr. Elaine Vantapool. I'm the chair of the Department of Biological Sciences at Oakwood University. But I also want to say I am a proud alum of the biology department of Oakwood University class of 2001. It has been such a blessing coming back to Oakwood University to serve. So I came back to Oakwood University because Oakwood has so much potential. And my calling to come back here is what led me to open up myself to God to allow him to use me to help bless the department and the school. So I became chair in 2019, um, right before the pandemic. That was a very interesting transition to chairmanship. But before that, I've asked God to help me on numerous occasions to help his school. Um, so when I was younger, I wanted to be a scientist and a doctor and scientist. And I kept going back and forth. And then I went to say I wanted to be a high school teacher. And the reason why I wanted to be a high school teacher, it was because I wanted to help um, high school and K through 12 community. That was my goal and my mission in terms of science. But God has used that passion and that drive and put me in the position that I am today to help. I'm in better position to help the K through 12 community. I do have a passion for that. And some of the things that I have done um, is to actually build that service commitment in my students as well. So for my microbiology class, I have used them to actually go out into the community and partner with community professors and teachers in the K through 12 so that they can help their science curriculum to grow. And so my students will help them with active learning, of course, with the help of the biology department at Oakwood University. Um, an example is um, research. Our students have also helped the community schools with research. Oakwood Adventist Academy, which is one of the most phenomenal um, academies to me in the nation, um, has really grown leaps and bounds through the outreach that we have done. I am the service learning coordinator for my department, and I ask the Lord every day, how can I help those in the community? And he has really reached out, but not just the community. It is also my passion and my goal to reach those that are at Oakwood. So while I've been here, God has allowed opportunities that I can partner with a lot of schools um, in terms of summer research, you know, some examples are like University of Michigan, UCLA, Vanderbilt, among others where we have some um, partnerships there, but also for early acceptance programs. We've had our students that have been accepted to medical schools early. We have one that's just formed with dental schools. And some of these partnerships include like UAB, um, University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine, which is one of the top med schools, the top three med schools. And right now we're working out something with Mayo Clinic and then we have others as well. So God has truly been blessed. And then of course, I cannot forget Loma Linda University. They have um, partnered with us and they have accepted our students into their programs. And these students that get accepted into these programs, they actually get accepted with scholarships. So we have been truly blessed. Um, we've also, we have a record number of students that are getting into internships, and that's one of the things that I was kind of pushing for. And this year, I'm just so happy to say from our freshmen and sophomores, which is the majority, and some juniors, we have over 50 uh, paid research internships. That is, that is amazing. I could not be so much more happy because each of these students are my children. I've had uh, numerous research grants, um, about 10 plus research grants to help not only fund my research and microbial pathogenesis, but also to help train students. Um, I also served as co-PI on several grants. We, I've worked on the SAFRA uh, grant, uh, where in biology I helped to establish several research facilities that didn't exist before, such as our genomics lab, which is phenomenal, but we've gotten a lot of money to fund and get state-of-the-art equipment that is now used by faculty to help build their research and also to help students do research. And through this, we are having our students publish, we are publishing, and our students are becoming more competitive for professional and graduate schools. Um, so we have integrated labs and research, and we have developed more clubs and organizations, but I want to say I'm most proud of 
the grants that we have um, through our National Science Foundation, um, particularly the HBCU UP grants, which I have been blessed to partner with Dr. Kenneth Lahing um, throughout the years, and now I'm also partnering with Dr. Stephen Lahing. Um, and with these grants, we have a focus to really develop our students, to get them participating more in, in STEM and research. And we try to incorporate a component um, for a curriculum to help build the STEM curriculum in light to help retain our students, to prepare our students to build critical thinking skills, as well as developing our faculty. Now, through these grants, we have, um, over, over the years, we have helped and assisted over 100 students. And a lot of our students that have gone through this program have been successful. They have gone to graduate programs, they have gone to medical and other professional programs. And they are now becoming leaders in their community. Just recently, um, through LSAMP, which is also Dr. Kenneth Lahing, he is the one that is the coordinator for this. Um, you know, we get our minority students at Oakland University to participate in this, particularly freshmen when they're coming in. And they do research, innovative research with our research faculty, and they will then go ahead, some of them publish the research, but they compete. Now, just this year alone, we've had four of our students that went and competed um, with other schools in the state of Alabama, and they have placed in each of the categories that they were in, first, second, and third place. So that attests to how our grant is going, how our faculty is phenomenal, and just the vision that Dr. Lahing, Kenneth Lahing has for his students, and that he has partnered with other departments such as biology to help build this, this dream of building phenomenal students and, and pushing them on to become successful in the future. We will continue building on this. We will continue um, not just for biology, but for all of STEM to make sure that all the students grow and develop. We are thriving um, to make sure or we're pushing for that goal to make sure that each student that comes through our programs are going to become successful. And grants like the HBCU UP grant, um, as well as LSAMP, will be one of those um, strategies used to help our students. What I am most proud of and most happy about is that I've had the opportunity to serve as a co-PI and research coordinator on grants such as the HBCU UP grant with Dr. Kenneth Lahing and also Dr. Stephen Lahing. So over the past few years, I've worked with Dr. Lahing, um, Kenneth Lahing, on previous HBCU UP grants that have been tremendously successful. We have tracked these students and they have done well. We have been granted um, over $1.2 million grant to support these endeavors to make sure that our students are successful. Just to give you um, a scope of what our HBCU UP grant covers, is that it covers, once again, we wanna make sure our students are retained in STEM because that is a huge issue. Um, we wanna make sure that our students are successful and that they're exposed to research. But not only that, we added an additional layer of actual faculty development component because we know that the students' academic enrichment and research enrichment will be further accelerated if the faculty is also prepared and further developed. So we are looking forward to this coming school year as we are moving towards a new phase of elevation for excellence for not just only our students, but also our faculty. And so what we've actually piloted was integrating research into some of the laboratories that have been shown to be successful. When you look at some of these data that we got, it is just, a, you know, just phenomenal. So what we're doing now is trying to expand some of the research into our laboratories. And we are seeking grant funding to make sure that our students will get the maximum benefit of integrating research into the lab. Um, and that will also help prepare them as they get ready to go to professional school or grad school. 
Um, we have actually have our genomics lab as well as our animal lab facilities set up. We're just trying to make sure that we have everything we need. And we have, got, we have received some funding to help build that up. And we're also seeking other grant funding um, from other partnerships that will help provide funding for not just myself, but also faculty who are doing research with students. Um, this summer I'm in um, dialogue with various schools like Mayo Clinic, um, UAB School of Dentistry, amongst other schools to help develop more partnerships with our students. We right now have a phenomenal track record of our students matriculating into graduate and professional programs. But we're not where we need to be. Where we need to be is that 100% of our students get into these programs. As service learning coordinator, you know, to reach out to the community, I feel that we really need to start at the young age from pre-K. And so for years from maybe the second year that I was a faculty member at Oakwood, um, I started doing research, not research, but from my second year at Oakwood, I started going into the Child Development Lab on, on our campus. It's a phenomenal program where we have pre-K and kindergartners that go there for an excellent program. I started building the science curriculum and I started teaching and I just, and it, it, it's so great to see the excitement with these children and to see now that the cohort from when I first came here that cohort, to see them now in STEM programs and, and advancing and being successful, it, it just points to how great it is when you follow God, when he says, go and teach my young children. So from there, we, that's, how, that's how we started at Oakwood with this reaching out to these young kids. And we've expanded. Now, an example of how this expansion has really helped a lot of these young people and I'll once again talk about Oakwood Academy. Um, over the years, myself as well as other faculty members have mentored high schoolers and middle schoolers in research. And these young individuals that have been mentored by us have advanced on to go to the NARCEF, the North Alabama Science, you know, Regional Science and Engineering Fair, which a lot of those students have actually placed and advanced on to the state level where they have represented Oakwood Academy and also have won in, in top placement categories. We've even had students from Oakwood Academy that has gone to the internationals and won scholarships to other schools. And those students that have gone through that pathway just because Oakwood University Biology as well as myself has reached out, these students are now at Oakwood University or have come through Oakwood University and have made it to PhD programs or medical programs, and they have been very successful. So to see how Oakwood University, biology, um, how myself along with service learning program at, at, in our department has really reached out, has made a big impact. Because the number one issue is in our field, and when I say our field, in the field of STEM, is that 2% of PhDs are of African-American descent in our country. That is a problem. It is no different when it comes to medicine. And we know that when we have people that look like us, treating people that look like us, the outcome is greater. And so when we have health disparities, we need these young people that look like us to actually go out and find cures that plague our community. I am really grateful to God that he has provided these opportunities and these doors opening um, for our students as well as our faculty. And there's a lot more that is going on and you'll hear more about it um, hopefully in future updates. In our department, it is rooted in us as not, not just myself, but the faculty and the student to see what the problem is and to reach out to the community to be public servants, to help those that need help. And God has truly blessed. So we're starting young and we're moving up. And we are seeing that God has truly blessed and these students are being phenomenal and leaders changing lives wherever they go.